guys, uh, just wanted to come and give you a tutorial on a new palette I just got by Tarte. And I'm super excited to show you. So it is the Luxe Eye Palette. Is this not the cutest front? <laughs> and check out the colors inside. Hang on. Amazing. Whoops, my lights are all in the way. Sorry. So anyway, I'm excited. It comes with a free brush. Well, I guess it's not free. And it also came with a liner and a little mascara. So Tarte Lights Camera app Lashes. Sweet. So I'm excited to put it on for you today. And I'm just going to start first. Um, without further ado, my new I Do Care Straight Radiant Radiant Moisturizing Gold Gel Cream. We're going to see, let's see, does that show up, right? We're going to see how well it, we like it. So it's literally a gel. I'm just going to take it and we're just going to rub it in. Now I've already moisturized my face. Um, I have actually put a primer on. And we're just going to try this and see how we like it. So far, it's really creamy, okay? I kind of like the gel texture. And as you can see... It gives like a, you can compare it to my hand. So see, this hand has it on and this hand has nothing. So it actually does do like a nice, pretty gold color underneath your foundation. So today I'll be using um, the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color. I got a hair in my face. There it is. Okay. Back to business. Do you guys like my headband? It's because my wig looks really funny without my, it like glued to my head. So I have to wear this headband, but I think it's pretty cute anyway. So I have the NARS in the color Pamper Loon. Pampa Loon. Why do they name it such weird names? And today I'm actually going to be using a beauty blender for this foundation. Now I find with certain foundations, honestly, it, um, it really depends on the foundation whether you should use a brush or um, the beauty blender. So with this particular one, I actually like to use the beauty blender. It goes on a lot better. Okay, so next I'm just gonna go in with the Benefit Boing Cakeless um, Concealer. I super love this right now. Uh, it's a toss up between this one and Tarte. For me, the reason why I love Tarte, um, oh my gosh, what's their concealer name now? I just, it's like escaped my mind. Shape Tape, there it is. So I really like Shape Tape because I like the Dofa a little bit better. It's a little bit of a stiffer brush, which I like better. And it comes in way more colors than this one. So this one really doesn't have a lot of colors. It's pretty new. The reason why I like it right now for the winter time is because it's moisturizing and Shape Tape is a little bit more drying. And I'm just gonna take and put this on my eyes as my base to my eyeshadow. Just nicely rubbing it in. I can't wait to show you like my wig with this look because it's super fun. I'm excited, so. Nope, except I forgot to get up here. I kind of love the beauty blender, you guys. So, like, I feel like I'm sold. And I can't believe I'm saying this because I hate paying $20 per beauty blender. But I wait for them to go on sale or to have them in a pack. And then I feel a little bit better about myself for buying them. But it's a struggle. The struggle is real for me, paying that much. But there is really, there really is a difference. So... I broke down, I paid the money for it. I actually got um, a really cool pack. It was the gem pack from Sephora. So it came with four of them for I think $65 or something. So that was a better way to buy it. So if you're gonna buy them, buy them that way. All right, next we are gonna go in and we are going to take and bake my eyes. Because I am going to be putting glitter on, you wanna put a little extra of your powder and you're gonna want a loose powder for this, right? To do your baking. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You guys all know I love my um, Too Faced Peach Perfect. 
I love this stuff. It is like my all-time fave. Perfect. Put in a little bit extra because you are going to have fallout with the glitter. I really don't love to bake a lot. The reason why I don't love to bake is because sometimes it dries your eyes out. And me being old, it it's kind of harder like on your eyes. So I don't tend to do this a lot unless I'm doing an eyeshadow that may have a lot of fallout. Okay, you guys ready? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm going with this shade, which is Mauve Magic. Because I feel like I need to have a little bit of a flatter base to start with. And then we will glitter the shiz right out of it. Okay, I'm just going above my crease again. You guys can see this, right? Next, I'm going to go in with this one. And... It's called Metal Work. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna use one of my Morphe brushes, because we know I love my Morphe brushes. And I'm just gonna go in. And um, the issue with my brushes today, Domini did not um, wash them and then let them, fluff them back out. What I did was I just hurried, I was in a hurry, so I shoved it back in my box and it dried weird, so. Never mind the weird shape of this. And just in case you wanted to know, we got 18 inches of snow last night. Hell of a lot of snow, just so you all know. But I love snow. I think snow is great. I mean, I love it in the mountains. Here's the thing. I love it for Christmas. I can't imagine, like, living in a sunny state all year long. I just feel like it's not Christmas without a little bit of snow. But... I could do without it after Christmas. I'm 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 good without it. So I'm just going to go back in with that light color one more time and I'm just going to go over the top just a little bit just to do a nice blendy blend. You know the nice thing about makeup is you can't really screw up because you can always go over the top when you have an issue. Okay. So next I'm actually going to go with this color cuz yeah, I kind of like it. This one um, yeah, I want to say it's, uh, let's see, black, cherry tart. This is the dumbest damn thing ever. So I can't really even read the names, you guys, but you can see. So if you get this pack, this is the one I'm going into. And I'm actually going to go into it with another Morphe brush. Because I don't know that I'm quite done. I just want to deepen this up just a little bit more. And it looks like a little bit of fallout. I'm getting a little bit of fallout from this, but not a whole lot. So this is good. I've actually never used their eyeshadows, Tarte eyeshadows. They're quite creamy, I have to say. And I kind of love that they have sparkles. So when you want to really like jazz it up, you can sparkle it. And if you don't want to, they have so many pretty neutral colors in here. They have pinks, but as you guys can see, there was a lot of colors. So I think it's a great palette and it actually wasn't too bad of a price. I bought it at Sephora. There are people that want to know prices and I just don't remember prices because let's be honest, I buy a lot. I mean a lot of makeup. It's a bad deal. My husband wants to kill me probably and everybody laughs at me. I had a client yesterday was like, I said, oh, I just bought some more makeup and stuff and she goes, do you really wear all that makeup? And so I had taken a picture of, uh, I'd taken a picture of my makeup bins, my container makeup bins. Yeah. She about shit her pants. She's like, are you kidding me? No, 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 I'm not. I am not kidding you. <sighs> okay. So you know what I'm going to do just for fun? I'm actually going to try this brown color right here and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to deepen it with my real technique techniques brush because we all know that I love these angled brushes. I love them. So we're just gonna dip it in and see, just to kind of deepen it just a little bit, because I feel like it's like one color, and wait till you see the shine I'm gonna put on this bad boy. You guys are gonna love it. I'm so excited. So, Hopefully everybody's got some good fun plans for the weekend. It is Black Friday. 
me, however, funny enough, like, I talk to people all day and I love my job doing hair. But seriously, I have no desire to go out and run into people and talk to people. And I hate, like, absolutely hate crowds. So, I don't know how you guys all feel about that, but there's my little spiel on that. Oh, I kind of like this actually. Kind of darkening it up. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking whatever's left on my brush, as you guys can see, and just kind of taking it right into my crease just to darken it just a little bit. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling this. And I'm actually going to take and make it more of a thing. So I just lick it with a Q-tip and make it very sharp and I can follow along even better. You know, like I need a better mirror. So I ordered a new mirror off of Amazon, a lighted one, because honestly my blind eye is painful and I cannot see hardly anything. So I'm doing makeup and hopefully it looks good. So you guys wanna hear the funniest thing? So I'm like talking to my husband. I says, I think I'm going to make a little tutorial. Like what color should I wear of the glitter? Guess what he picks guys? This one. So it has purple and pink in it, right? So with these glitters, where is my glue? You have to use a glue, a glitter glue. Okay. So I'm just going to get maybe. I'm using... Okay, so I got myself some glitter glue by NYX. It looks like this. Put it up closer, right? Um, I'm just going to put that on my eyes. The reason being is because when you put this loose of glitter, you really have to put um, a gripping agent or it will slough everywhere. Uh, I should have realized this a long time ago because there's this really cool color in... Um, I'm actually going to put it right in the middle, guys. So I'm not going to go all the way to the edge, like to the corner of my eye. So I'm just going to do it right in the middle for it. So I just sprayed a little bit of uh, MAC Fix Plus onto my flat brush. And away we go. We're just going to take. And I love this. You guys, it has pink and purple and blue in it. Oh, boy. This is amazing. You have to work pretty quick with the uh, NYX glue. I actually should have known that and remembered that because um, it dries pretty fast. So in order to get your stuff to stick, you want to work pretty quickly so it doesn't dry. It can be a little bit messy because we're just going to go back over the top of it with our brushes and kind of melt it in. No biggie. Don't panic, you guys. I think the issue is, is everybody's like, they panic. They don't know what to do. They mess up on their eyes. I mean, this makes it mad again. So you can start all over. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like you can't. And I'm sorry if I sniff because my allergies are so bad. Next, I'm actually going to go in and right over the top of it, I'm actually going to put a little bit of this glitter. Because why not, right? Why not? Oh, yes. Girls, like this is so fun. So here's the thing. I think a lot of women, um, well, okay, I'm going to take this back. I think a lot of conservative women live in Idaho and Utah where I'm from. And we don't like women don't do this to their eyes at my age, which is fine to each their own, right? But I think they really don't do it because they feel insecure and they think, oh, well, nobody else does it. So I shouldn't be doing it because I'm old and I shouldn't wear this. To hell with that, you guys. Have some fun. Like, it's amazing. So I'm just going to go back in with this color right next to the purple one, the dark purple that I put in my corner. And I'm just going to take and I'm just going to do it in the corner right here. Pat it right into the corner. So anyway, I think we need to have fun, especially like with the holidays coming up. I mean, Christmas parties and New Year's parties. Like, 
have some fun, let loose. Like this is definitely not an everyday look. I wouldn't wear this. I might wear this to work. I might wear this to work because I can in my business. So if you're a hairdresser or you do something like this or an esthetician, for sure, you can totally do this kind of stuff. But um, don't be afraid. Like that is my biggest thing to people. I just want to say to you, don't be afraid to like step out of the comfort zone in the box of good old Utah and Idaho. Okay, do you guys see this fallout? Can you see that? I hope you can. Okay, so this is the reason why we bake, ladies. This is the reason why, except for I'm not done yet. I'm actually going to go back in with my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to go back into that brown color. And I'm just going to deepen it up just that much more, just a little bit right here. Kind of love this. I don't know. So I was talking to my client the other day and she says, so I followed along with your tutorial and my makeup just did not look the same and it didn't go the same. And I'm going to say to you the reason why. Number one, I asked her what she used. And so she used a different palette, which is fine, but it was old. Okay. So ladies, if you have old stuff, don't put it on your eyes because it will never work like never so don't think it'll look good because it's not going to because once it's old too old it's crumbly it doesn't go on right it doesn't anything number two the reason why i use these special colors is because they are try and true like i have used them i know what they go on with your eyes i'm just gonna lightly brush this off while i'm talking anyway so i mean there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes out there and I have used them all. I'm telling you, if you want good eyeshadow palettes, like you gotta listen. And here's the thing, like it depends on the eyeshadow palette. Now the drugstore one that I used the other day, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it definitely is not compared to these ones. Like these are just top notch. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go back in with this color because it's kind of shiny. And I'm just gonna put it right underneath my eyes with that same Real Technique brush, right? We're just gonna do this. And I have just a little bit of sparkle on it from having sparkles on my eyes. So I kind of like this. So I'm just going underneath here. And I like that it's shiny. Because this, ladies, is a shiny look. So anyway, I hope that made sense. Like, you can't use old stuff and think that it's going to recreate the same stuff as mine. Because it really does. Old stuff expires. It's just like anything. It's like food. It's like anything. It will expire. It won't go on right. And then you'll sit there and wonder why you can't do your makeup. And why it doesn't look like this. So... Just taking and going up it again. I'm going to take my little beauty blender and put a little bit more concealer so it's really sharp right here, right? Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with the brown color. I'm just going to go right in here over the top. Just darkening it up. Yes. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. I'm freaking loving this, you guys, I'm loving it. So next thing's next. I just went and put on that mascara that came in that little thing and I gotta say, I don't mind it at all. And I just did a really light line of uh, uh, eyeliner. I don't wanna do a wing liner because I do not wanna cover up the amazingness of the glitter. So I'm not gonna do like a heavy liner on it. Okay, so I'm just going in with my favorite. It's like my new fave, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. You can get this at Sephora. And next, I'm actually gonna go in with Physician's Formula, the Butter Bronzer, because I want my face super glowy and dewy looking, all right? I kind of love this stuff. It's it's really dewy. Here's the thing I love about it. It's not glittery because I bought um, a bronzer off of Sephora 
from a recommendation from, she was probably 20, let's be honest, a 20 year old. And she recommended the Sephora bronzer because it was glowy. Well, what she meant by glowy was uh, sparkly. And that just doesn't work for my old face. So I bought a whole thing of it and I don't love it. Now, the joy about taking, the joy about buying from Sephora and Ulta is they take back anything for free. So you can use it, try it out for a month. You can take it back. They'll give you your money back. So they probably don't like me telling that because they want to kill me when I come in there because I'm always in there. Oh, well. So I'm going to go in, I can't decide, what do I want to do? Um, I'm actually going to go in with Pinkin, this color right here, in this. It's a Sigma blush palette, and I actually got this off of Amazon. So don't worry, I will link everything down below. I don't want to do too bright of a blush because my eyes are so bright. Yes. I'm loving this. This is perfect. Loving it. Okay, so we are going to go in, and I actually bought this too from Sephora, the Tardist Pro Glow Palette. So what it has in it is a cream contour, which I tried and I couldn't get the hang of it, so I'm going to do that off camera sometime. And then it comes with these four really pretty colors. So I'm going to show you. The one is pretty white and I don't love it. Like, I don't love the look of it, but I'm going to show you what these other ones look like. Hang on. So here's the three together. So this one I feel like is a little bit white, but I love these. So I think if you mix these two together, which I'm going to do that. So I'm going to mix these top two ones together and I'm going to take, uh, I'm actually going to do it with one of my Real Techniques fan brushes. So it's nice and light. I can't see. My mirror's in the wrong area. So right here, right above the cheekbone. Yes, I'm feeling this one. It's nice and light. The nice thing about these fan brushes is everything goes on so light, so nice. So you can kind of control because a lot of the time these really um, bright colors can go on pretty heavy. Um, I love it because it is not sparkly. Again, I don't do sparkly. So this is the reason why I love this palette. And I'm just gonna go in and go right down my nose um, because I don't do glitter. I do shine. So if you're young and you're watching this, go right ahead, You be my guest. Like, go as glittery as you want. But for me, no, I don't love it. And I got this palette at Sephora. Also, I went on a little shopping spree and I just went on another one because they were having good deals. I mean, how do you pass that up, right? You don't. Okay, I'm back. And I need a little drink. Okay, so I went in, I popped on my eyelashes. I did my favorite ones, 113 by Ardell. I did my mascara on the bottom. And I'm just taking this cute little um, liner. It's black that was in the pack. And I'm just going to take it and put it in my waterline. My eyes, however, are super watery today. Not sure what's going on with that. But I want this to be more of a kind of a sultry, deep night look. So I'm just going to put that in my waterline. Okay. So I went in in the corners and I actually popped this color in to my corner. Amazing. I freaking love it. So I'm going to be using Urban Decay 24-7 in the color Rush for my lip liner. It's a nice pretty pink one and their lip liners are super creamy. Kind of love them. So overall, I have to say that I really love this Tarte palette so far. The colors go on really nice. They're very pigmented. Um, 
and they're like super creamy and nice and mm, they're delightful. So I'm actually going to go in with the color by MAC called Cream Cup. Another pink color. I, I don't know. I tried a lot of lipsticks and I actually on the sale uh, ordered, ordered me like uh, 10 more lipsticks for MAC. So we'll see how we like them. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. Loving this. So, um, overall, love this eyeshadow palette. Called the Luxe Eye Palette. You can get it at Ulta. Again, here's all the colors. Freaking love them. Um, if you're going to ever do glitters, always remember to put down glue on your face. Um, overall, I'm loving this look. So, uh, before I go, I want to talk about one last thing. So, I got this superhero uh, mascara by IT. Can I just tell you how awful it is? Can you guys see this? Can you see that brush? Do you see the how it goes on? It's awful. Brand new. Hate it. Never get it. It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. So, there's my ending to everything. I will have everything linked down below. Please subscribe and tell all of your friends. Again, I am only here to enhance your beauty. So, if you don't like what you see or hear, please don't be ugly about it. Just move on. Thanks, and I hope you guys have an awesome day great day.